Harris just after 3 p.m. is will he fire back at President Macron, who at this what was supposed to be this wonderful come together ceremony in Paris a little earlier, as you saw on the program, uh, instead became President Macron seeming to attack President Trump over the issue of nationalism and America first and suggesting that nationalism by President Trump was uh, sort of overshadowing patriotism right. uh, and talked about making things great. It seemed to be an allusion to make America great again. Uh, here's a soundbite from President Macron. Patriotism is the exact opposite of nationalism. Nationalism is a betrayal of patriotism by saying, aren't you first? Who cares about the others? We erase what a nation holds dearest, what gives it life, what makes it grace, and what is essential, its moral values. Well, Dr. Sebastian Gorka was on the show earlier, and he told uh, President Macron that he should probably look up the de definition of nationalism in, nationalism in the dictionary before lecturing America about what it means. Would he say uh, these words about the nationalism that motivated the French resistance? to fight and in many cases die in the face of the Nazi occupation of France. He was standing in front of the, uh, the Arc de Triomphe. The triumph over what exactly? People don't die for globalization. Mr. Macron, look up the word nationalism in a dictionary. It says in English or French, love of nation, devotion to your country. How is that a bad thing? Now, President Trump's going to get a chance in just a few minutes mm -hmm. uh, to respond to those remarks. We'll see if he does. He may keep the focus just on memorializing the 100th anniversary of what American men and women, men did in boots, in trenches, in World War One. More than 100,000 Americans who died in that war. Over 100,000 uh, American soldiers went across the Atlantic Ocean to save France and Europe from communism, from, from fascism, it's typical European ar arrogance, it really is. So we, sa we saved your ass, and then you're gonna preach to us. No, really, that's, that's what, how Americans look at this. Twice we did, and you're gonna turn around and preach to us that because we love our country, we love our, love our flags, we love our military, we love our cops, we love our Second Amendment, we really believe in the First Amendment, that somehow we're the fascists, we're the nationalists. This guy hasn't read a history book, doesn't understand the history, and listen, I want to just have this be a day that we remember, but it fires a lot of Americans up when you watch that. You want to have a friendship with these countries you believe are your allies, mm -hmm. and then they turn around and point their finger in your chest while they shrink their military and ride up their, bud their welfare budgets, and they can't defend themselves anyway, and they open their borders and get rid of their cultural identity, and they can't see it, and it's right in front of their face, and that's what President Trump talks about when he talks about America I thought that first. Dr. Gorka making the point that uh, American soldiers don't die for globalism or nationalism, and yes. neither do soldiers from other countries. They die with a flag on their uniform, whether it's the American flag, the French flag, the, the UK flag, uh, the British flag. I mean, they're, you die for your country. You don't die for a globalist cause. And yesterday, Morgan Ortegas was on the program, and she reminded everybody that there are a lot of American men and women buried uh, in Europe. And yeah. 